everybody. Welcome to my kitchen. It's Leanne with Epicure and we're back for another fun foodie cooking class here this evening. I'm so excited to be joining you tonight. We're going to be cooking up a delicious meal and I'm going to be sharing it tonight with my host Lisa and all her friends and though everyone is welcome to join in and watch the festivities because what's better than watching someone make a delicious dinner and picking up a few tips and hints along the way. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Epicure, I'm thrilled to share just a tiny bit of information with you so you have a better picture of who we are and what we're all about. Epicure is a 100% Canadian company. We're family owned and women led and based in Victoria, BC. I've been an independent consultant with Epicure for 20 years now. This is actually my 20th year. And I'm so honored to represent our brand, uh, share our products, share our amazing programs at Epicure. And I love to spread the good news about our good food mission. So we have a claim to fame at Epicure, and that is we specialize in helping you get dinner on the table from raw to ready in 20 minutes or less. Hands up, who loves the sound of dinner from raw to ready in 20 minutes or less? That is what we do at Epicure every single day. So we can help you get a delicious meal ready for you or your family using a wholesome, um, easily found grocery store ingredients combined with our herbs and spices and seasoning blends cooked in our time-saving cookware at a fraction of the time that it would take to order takeout or go through a drive through or even reheat a frozen pizza. So we're all about helping you gather together around your dinner table and enjoy real delicious food. We specialize in budget friendly recipes. So everything I'm going to be sharing tonight is super budget family friendly. They're family friendly flavors. Gosh, that's a tongue twister and I haven't even had a sip of my cocktail yet tonight. So they're family friendly flavors and again, super quick and easy to make. So we are going to kick things off tonight. Uh, by sharing with you what makes us so unique. These are not your average seasonings that you find at the supermarket. Everything from Epicure is 100% gluten-free, peanut-free, tree nut-free. We have no artificial coloring, flavors, preservatives, or fillers. We are sugar and sodium conscious as well. So if you are listening and you're on any sort of a restricted diet or have allergies in your family, please reach out. I'm sure there's a way that we can help simplify things for you in the kitchen. Many of my clients are on restricted diets or have severe allergies or a celiac and are absolutely thrilled that they can count on the quality of Epicure's products. So we carry herb and spice blends, we carry meal solutions that come in these wonderful little packages, and these are quickly becoming some of our most popular items because this particular blend of herbs and spices makes the exact dish that's shown on the package. And when you flip it over on the back, the recipe to make it is right here, as well as in bold black print, it shows the basic supermarket ingredients that you need to make that dish. So we're all about simplifying your meal planning. If you have a little variety of these packages in your cupboard, planning your meals for the week is as easy as grabbing a handful, making up your grocery list, and making sure you have ingredients on hand. Most of these are four full-size adult servings, and though that can fluctuate right up to some serving 16 to 20 servings. So super budget friendly. They all work out to less than $3 a serving per person, including your grocery items. So again, super, super budget friendly and absolutely delicious. And then to go with our food products, we have incredible time-saving cookware. So I'll be shining the spotlight on some of my favorites there as well, because they are really key to helping you get rocking in your kitchen and cooking quick and easy. And I also love how they're specifically suited, especially for summertime cooking when it's hot in your kitchen, because many of them are all about steaming or grilling. So I love to steam things in my steamer or take things out to the grill and keep my kitchen cool in the summertime. So we are going to start off with a fantastic little grouping. A lot of people often ask me if they've not got a lot of Epicure in their pantry, where do I start? You know, there's so many things in the catalog to choose from. Where do I pare down my choices? 
So I'd love to direct everyone right off the bat to one of my favorite items this season. I have been loving this collection. It's the most amazing bundle and it's called the Summer Strong Collection. And it's jam packed with 10 amazing items to help you get dinner on the table quickly and easily. Many of them are brand new summer products. So if you're new to Epicure, this gives you a great overview of the types of things we have. And if you're a traditional Epicure fan, you've been loving us for years and using us in your kitchen, this is an amazing way to pick up a variety of the new summer products all in one awesome convenient bundle. So in this bundle, we have some amazing choices. The Better Than Bacon Topper, we're using that tonight. The Creamy Potato Salad Dressing, again, I'm gonna show you that tonight. The Teriyaki Dry Glaze, the Tuscan Chicken Burger Seasoning, which we're using as well. Azteca Tortilla Soup, our Better Than Baked Beans Seasoning, our Blue Butterfly Herbal Tea, our Sweet and Spicy Mustard, Sweet and Sour Stir Fry, and our Vanilla Bean Panna Cotta. So there's even a little sweet treat in there. So we are gonna to start tonight by making a cocktail. So just imagine you're heading out to the deck to relax on a beautiful warm summer afternoon and you want something lovely, refreshing, crisp and cold to take with you. So you could do a couple of different things. This is the tea that comes in that collection. It's called the Blue Butterfly Tea and it contains a really unique ingredient. It's called the Butterfly Pea Flower. And when you brew the tea, it's blue. And as soon as you add an acid to it, like lemon juice or lime juice, it turns fuchsia. So that's really fun. Anyone out there raised on great Kool-Aid in the summertime? If you were, you would love the flavor of the blue butterfly tea. It's a very light, fruity, grape-like flavor. So fantastic for enjoying as an iced tea, use it to make ice pops, or use it in cocktails all summer long. Another favorite tea we have in the summer and what I'm featuring tonight is our Hibiscus Bliss. This is an absolutely gorgeous hot pink tea and the flavor is tart and tangy, kind of like cranberry meets lemon, but not bitter, just tangy. And so I love to cold brew it in my fridge overnight. Really, really quick and easy. Throw three or four tea bags in a uh, container, add some cold water, pop it in the fridge and ignore it all night long. When I get up in the morning, the tea is ready to go. So we have our iced tea here. So we're just going to assemble our cocktail. So we are featuring actually one of our dessert blends in our cocktail. You might be kind of surprised. If you've been with us for a while, you probably have tried our delicious summer berry in yogurt. It makes your plain yogurt taste like strawberry cheesecake. It's also amazing added to pancakes, waffles, muffins, or smoothies. There's a recipe on the side to make a delicious sweet cheese ball or to make ice pops again. But we are using it to rim our cocktail glass. So I went with a really sturdy mason jar tonight. I simply rubbed the rim with some lime, put the summer berry in a little dish, and then just roll the rim in there to make sure it's evenly coated. So every sip is gonna get a little burst of berry flavor. And then we are going to add to this a shot of lime vodka. So you can make a sparkling sangria as well. Instead of doing vodka, you might add sparkling wine. So a little shot of lime vodka, there we go. Then we're going to add some iced tea. And this is beautiful just as the tea. My kids adore it. So really scrumptious. And then we're gonna add a squeeze of lime. But before we do that, let's add a slice of lime and lemon just to make it look pretty. We're gonna slice it up with our handy dandy ceramic knife. This is the chef's knife, the larger one. It comes with an awesome little safety guard, has a really comfy handle. It's got a velveted finish, so if my hands are wet, they're not gonna slip around, and it's super comfy to hold. And the ceramic blade is dark, so that if you're coloring brightly, if you're cutting brightly colored veggies or fruit, like beets or uh, strawberries, it's not gonna discolor the blade. And ceramic is awesome for meal prep because things won't oxidize as quickly if sliced with a ceramic knife. So if I was slicing banana or apples or pears, fantastic for um, lettuce. If you wanna slice up your lettuce in advance, 
and get that in the fridge in a big Ziploc bag, you sure could do that as well. So that's a really great way to enjoy your ceramic knife and all the benefits of it. So let's just move our lemon out of the way there. And it's super, super sharp. So I tuck it right back in the safety guard when I'm done. So we've added our citrus slices in there. Now we're gonna go in and add some lime juice. And this is my best friend in the kitchen. I love our two-in-one citrus press. It is such an invaluable tool. Fresh citrus juice is so amazing in your meals. It adds such a bright flavor and picks up all the flavors. Like very often, if you're trying to avoid salt, for example, in your meals, add a little citrus juice and it really helps perk up those flavors. So of course, if I was gonna juice the lemon, I would put it in the larger lemon section, but I'm gonna juice our lime, which is a little bit smaller tonight. So I'm gonna use the green section for the lime and it kind of looks like I dropped my lime hack right in there, right? You actually do it the other way. So I did it that way so many times and then I realized, wait a minute, hello, we're gonna put it in this way with the curved part up and then this dome will turn it completely inside out. This squeezes out every tiny drop of citrus juice and keeps all the seeds inside. So just look how easily that juice pours out. Couldn't be simpler. And then we've got that piece of lime completely inside out. So it's a great way to get all your money's worth from your citrus fruit. And then we're just missing a little sparkle. I'm gonna add a little Sprite but you might use soda water, whatever you would like, some kind of a sparkling water. There we go. There's our cocktail. I'll add my little slice of lemon. So doesn't that look fabulous? So super quick and easy to do. All real foods. You don't have to rely on artificial flavored mixes of any kind. Um, we wonder sometimes why we don't feel so well after we've had a couple of beverages using those pre-sweetened mixes or the pre-sweetened uh, bar mix, like the sweet and sour. So use the real citrus. It's a great, great alternative. So let's give it a taste. Oh, it is delish. I'll be enjoying that one as we go along here tonight. So let's just move some of our drink items and we are going to get cooking. So I took the liberty of pre-prepping a few things because in the interest of time, I want to show you the finished dish and we're going to keep it all right here. So normally, when we do cooking classes at Epicure, traditionally, we do them right in your house. So I've actually gone to Lisa's house many times with my kit in hand and hung out with her and her friends and we cooked together and sampled live on site. But because of the current situation, we are taking everything online so that we can maintain the social distancing. So I've been cooking here in my kitchen and then just sharing it just like this. So we can do all sorts of different themes for you and your friends to see. I can give you the behind the scenes scoop of how to make different dishes and share lots of ideas and how to put a little twist on things your family might enjoy eating anyway, but you're just ready for some new ideas. Hands up, who out there is tired of eating the same 10 to 12 meals all the time, right? Wouldn't it be nice to even just have a burger that's a little bit different than the ordinary? Like for example, the recipe we're doing tonight uses our Tuscan burger seasoning from that Summer Strong collection. You can absolutely add this to beef, pork, chicken, or turkey, or even add to a little balsamic and olive oil and marinade your portobello mushrooms in there for a vegan alternative. But beautiful, beautiful flavors. Um, we've got tomato, oregano, garlic, pinch of onions, and sumac, so gorgeous Italian flavors. So again, it might be a burger at the end of the day, but it's got a little twist on it, so it's a little more interesting and a little more fun. So what we're cooking tonight is from that Summer Strong collection, and that collection comes with an amazing little recipe booklet. Now this booklet is not just filled with recipes for you. Many folks have shared with me that what really stresses them out about mealtime is the planning, like the mental headspace of trying to figure out what to feed everybody all the time. And given that so many of us have been home cooking more than ever, like who knew our family actually wanted to eat three meals a day, seven days a week, right? 
<laughs> I know, I love cooking, and even I've been surprised along the way, looking at my teens and going, what, you're hungry again? Oh my gosh. So, anything that can help has got to be a good thing. So here in our recipe guide, in the front, we've actually got grocery list prep for you. We have the meal shopping, um, the meal planning, the meal prepping, all kinds of handy tips and hints to simplify your life in the kitchen. If you've ever stood in your kitchen and thought, oh, if somebody would just come cook all of this for me and I'd sit and eat it, this is as close as we can come for you. So again, budget friendly, instead of ordering takeout or using those meal services. Did you know those prefab meal services that turn up at your door? Some of the least expensive options for those are over $9 a serving. Epicure comes in at around $3 a serving. So it's a third of the price for delicious meals. So again, our Summer Strong Guide has the grocery list, the meal prep, the meal planning, and it's 16 fantastic recipes to use the spices that come in this set. And it's been so popular that our, our research and development team at Epicure went back to the drawing board and developed a 30-day meal plan using these products. So for 30 days, we've got you covered. So by the time you get to day 30, you could go back to the beginning and start all over again. And then you're well into your summer, right? So amazing ideas, three different kinds of burgers. Here's the bacon and egg potato salad that we're gonna make tonight. There's an amazing, oh gosh, the teriyaki balmi mi is fantastic. The BLT chicken salad, beautiful light meal for lunches three different varieties of um, lettuce wraps. There's Asian, there's a spicy Mexican version. And then tonight we're making the grilled caprese chicken. So some amazing Italian flavors coming our way this evening. So we're gonna get cooking. So I love, love, love this collection. This is where I suggest you start. So we are going to start with our potato salad. So to cook the potatoes, I did not go to a big saucepan full of water on my stove. This is the cookware item that makes me the most excited. I'm from a really tiny community in Newfoundland and I'm an old school from scratch cook. We didn't have a lot of takeout restaurants or fast food where I come from. So I grew up watching the adults in my world cook meals from scratch. And that's the way I learned to cook. So when we introduced microwave steamers, and this was years ago with Epicure, I thought to myself, oh boy, I've only ever used my microwave, A, to reheat things, or B, to defrost things, and now I've got to cook in it? Because to tell you the truth, I've never been very impressed with microwave cooking up to that point. And though, I do trust that at Epicure, it's gotta be amazing or they don't even introduce it. So I threw myself wholeheartedly into experimenting with our steamers, and I've got to tell you, I've hardly touched a saucepan or a giant steaming pot on the top of my stove since. I do virtually everything in my steamer. Many of us even joke now and call the multi-purpose steamer the purple people eater, because you can do so many things in this. So you're probably guessing, hmm, microwave, steaming, for sure it would do veggies. And absolutely it does. Does a beautiful job on vegetables, like an entire head of broccoli in three minutes. So quick and easy. You can make mashed potatoes in here. They cook in about seven to eight minutes and then you're ready to mash them. Can you imagine like your pot of water wouldn't have even started to boil on the stove top in that time frame. It comes with a really handy little tray as well. That's included and it's wonderful for double decker cooking. So you might line the bottom of your pan with salmon, then put in the tray, put broccoli on top, sprinkle a little Epicure lemon dilly over everything, and those cook to perfection in the steamer together with the lid on in four minutes. So you go from no dinner at all to salmon and broccoli on your plate in four minutes. It's just incredible. I love the rack as well, the little tray for bacon. Bacon cooks in six, uh, five to six minutes for crisp bacon in your steamer. And then all the oil drips to the bottom and it's super easy to discard. So really fantastic. You can use that to make fat-free potato chips all by itself in your microwave. And I even do things in my steamer like ground meats. 
Anytime we're having tacos for dinner, all my ground meat goes in the steamer. It's ready in five minutes. So again, it's hardly started to cook if I've done it on the conventional stove top. And the real showstopper for cooking in the steamer is a whole bone-in chicken. And I mean like a Sunday roasted chicken, a three to four pound chicken in your steamer, seasoned how you like, cooks to perfection in your microwave in about 18 to 20 minutes. And your end result is just like a rotisserie chicken. It is tender, it is juicy, just mind blowing. Really, the first time I did it, I could not believe it. And we actually make it a real habit here in our house now. We don't like to buy uh, processed luncheon meats and we have a house full of kids and young adults. So what we do for sandwiches is we'll cook chicken in advance in the steamer and then pull off the skin, pull the meat off the bones and store it in a container in the fridge. And then that beautiful, delicious, moist, tender chicken is ready to go into a salad, a sandwich, a wrap all week long. So super quick and easy and so, so good for you. So tonight, to make our potato salad, I cooked about a pound and a half, two pounds of baby potatoes in here. So I had just cut them up, and so we'll open up the steamer. I always open it away from me so that steam doesn't come up on my arms. And in here, we've got beautifully cooked potatoes, all ready to go. I did not add any water. That water that you see in there, that's naturally come from the veggies as they've cooked. So I'm just gonna let those sit here at room temperature while I whip up the dressing. So again, super quick and easy. That's the theme of the uh, evening here. And I'm gonna do that in our four cup prep bowl. These are amazing tempered glass bowls that come with silicone lids. And if you have these filled with liquid, you can actually turn your bowls upside down and they are leak proof. Love it. So you don't have to use saran wrap or tin foil for these. I love them for meal prep, for storing leftovers in the fridge. They're so, so versatile. So in this one, I've got a quarter cup each of mayo and uh, Greek yogurt, non-fat Greek yogurt. And we're just gonna follow the recipe for the potato salad from the brochure. So let me grab that. I wanna make sure I'm not leading you astray and I'm following the recipe right as it's written. So we have our mayo and our Greek yogurt in here. I am going to add two tablespoons of our creamy potato salad dressing. And this is another brand new product. And I've got to tell you, my family's been adoring this one. This is probably the fourth jar or fifth jar we've gone through since May 1st. So I'm going to use our handy dandy four in one measuring spoon and put two tablespoons right into our dressing base. So that fits inside all of our jars. There we go. And then we're also going to add a tablespoon of sweet and spicy mustard. So that's a returning summer favorite. Many of our clients wait all year long for the sweet and spicy mustard to return. It's organic mustard seed from the prairies, organic honey from Quebec, and then the zing of the whole mustard seed, some red bell pepper, some jalapeno. So absolutely scrumptious. So we're going to add, as I said, a tablespoon right into our dressing. There we go. Make sure we get all of that in there. Don't want to leave any of that goodness behind. We're just going to give that a stir. One of the benefits of working at home, I know where everything is. We can just toss it back there in the sink. So we're just going to stir up our dressing. That was pretty easy so far, right? What I love about Epicure recipes is for the most part, they're assembly. They're not complicated at all because we really want to put the focus on you enjoying a delicious meal with your family, not stressing out about making the delicious meal, right? So here we have the potatoes. Our dressing is done. So we're going to add that. And then we have some hard boiled eggs that we made in advance. We'll just fold those in as well. And I'm using my saute spoon to scrape out this bowl. It's one of our silicone utensils here. And all of our silicone kitchen tools have a really sturdy steel core. So super heavy duty, but then we coat them in food grade silicone so they don't get hot. This could sit in a pot of spaghetti sauce on the stove for an hour. And you can come along, grab your spoon and carry on. It's never gonna overheat on you. 
And the very end of this saute spoon is flexible, like a spatula. And that's why I'm able to get every last bit of salad dressing out of this bowl. So we're going to pop our salad back in there once we get it all mixed up. Because it's a little prettier than stirring from the steamer. So super quick and easy. I'm sure we can all stir in salad dressing like that. Add our egg. And now this is the small version of that prep bowl. They come in a set of four and they are called prep bowls. And what I love about them, in addition again to that silicone lid, is that these are actually measuring cups. They have a metric and an imperial measurement written right on the jar. And it starts at quarter cup, half cup, three quarter cup, and then filled to the top is a one cup measurement. So you don't have to rummage for other measuring cups. You just grab your prep bowls and they're ready to go. So we're gonna stir in those eggs as well. So, so far we have the potato and the egg component of this salad covered. So what is that bacon coming in, I wonder? We're gonna hit the bacon right now with that better than bacon. This is a newer product for Epicure. It's not brand new this summer season, but it is newer. And what's amazing about it is that it's vegan bacon. It is actually made from pinto beans. And incredibly enough, it tastes so much like bacon, you would be hard pressed to know that it wasn't. So it has that savory, smoky, little bit salty hit of flavor. And we have been sprinkling it on all of the things, like everything. If it stands still long enough, we're putting some better than bacon on it. So I've been known to sprinkle a little bit in my hand now and then and nibble. So here's our potato salad. Where's our better than bacon? Right here. And it comes in big flakes. So it looks like crumbled bacon right in the jar. Again, I said it's made from pinto beans. And there's something really fun you can do with this. I forgot to grab it earlier. We also carry ceramic spice grinders, just the ceramic heads for the grinders. And they fit on all of our jars. So let's imagine you were enjoying hmm, corn on the cob for supper and you'd love the taste of bacon on your corn on the cob. You could put the grinder right on top of your better than bacon, and now you could grind a fine, a medium, or a coarse grind, because that's adjustable, bacon flavor all over your corn on the cob. How cool is that? So you can use it very finely ground, or you can enjoy it in the big flakes. And I'm feeling kind of bacony this evening. So I'm gonna sprinkle it right from the jar onto our potato salad. Oh gosh, see, this is the point of the evening when I really, really wish we had smell-o-vision. Because I wish you could smell the beautiful aromas in my kitchen. And I just happen to have a little bit of fresh chives in my garden and a little sprinkle of green makes everything look pretty. So here is our bacon and egg potato salad, super quick and easy. And now we are going to move on to that caprese grilled chicken. So that was incredibly simple to make. We're gonna mix up a marinade, and I did that a little earlier today in my prep bowl. So the marinade was two tablespoons of oil, two tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, two tablespoons of the Tuscan spice, and two tablespoons of honey. So super, super simple, just mix it all together. And then I took half of that and put on my chicken breasts in a plastic container and popped them in the fridge to marinate. Super easy. So if you can marinate them for 10 minutes, great. You could do it overnight, that would be super. And here's one of my favorite cooking tips for you. I love to prep marinades like that and then put the marinade in a big Ziploc freezer bag. Add my proteins, zip it up and throw it in the freezer. And very often I'll do that on the day that I bring my groceries home. So your protein won't marinate while it's freezing. But the day that you want to have this beautiful Tuscan chicken for dinner, before you go about all the things you're going to do in your day, pull that bag out of the freezer, put it in the fridge, it'll defrost all day. And by the time dinner time rolls around, your chicken's defrosted and it's marinated and ready for grilling. So following the recipe, we grilled the chicken breasts six minutes on each side, topped with some fresh mozzarella and a tomato slice. And this is what it looks like when it's all done. It's kind of tough to take you out to the grill and go clanking over 
the, uh, the grill itself with the lid and the traffic noise that's outside. So I wanted to have it prepped for you in advance. So you can see the beautiful caramelization. It's not burnt at all. I don't know how close to the camera I can get for you. It's got great grill marks. Because the balsamic vinegar and honey is a little on the dark side naturally, but it smells incredible. So that's going to be the highlight of our dinner tonight. And you'll notice I have it on this cool little baking sheet. That is one of my favorite new cookware items from Epicure. We've always carried the larger baking sheet and the silicone liner. And now we have these mini ones. They come in sets of two. So you get two trays and two silicone liners. They're sold separately. One set of liners, one set of trays. They fit into toaster ovens. You can use them in apartment size ovens. You can throw them in side by side in your regular stove. They are incredible. My clients have been loving them. They're flying off our shelves at home office. So really, really popular. And you'll notice, as I said, I'm using them for the grill because I rely on these to use as a tray to transport things back and forth to outside. They're super, super sturdy. So if I've got a heavy rack of ribs on here or a pile of pork chops or burgers, it's not gonna wobble or bend. And very often, decorative platters are not flat. They have sort of a curved edge and then a flat and then another curved edge and things slip and slide. So you don't have that challenge with these wonderfully sturdy pans. And if I've taken raw proteins out to the grill on the silicone liner, and then I want to bring them back inside when they're cooked, I don't want any contamination. So you can just pull the silicone liner out, throw it in the dishwasher, and put your cooked proteins right on the tray. So super quick, easy, and convenient. And that's ticking all my boxes for cooking at home. So this is our caprese chicken. We have the salad. I cooked our asparagus to go with it for two and a half minutes a little earlier. And I wanted to get a head start because sometimes the microwave can be loud when we're chatting. So this way I get to show you if it's cooked or not. And that's how you can tell. We also have the rectangular steamer, much smaller than the uh, multi-purpose one. The multi-purpose one I have to say I reach for more. But this one certainly has its uses. Like if I just want a little side dish of veggies or we use it for oatmeal every single morning, this is the one we grab, the rectangular steamer. Also amazing as a loaf pan. So that asparagus, two and a half minutes, beautifully green. And we're just gonna pick it up in the middle and see if it droops. And look at that. It kept cooking while we were chatting. So it is perfectly cooked. So absolutely fantastic. Two and a half minutes in the microwave. So you can't get quicker than that for dinner. So I say we dish up our meal. Oh, before we do that, the last thing I'd love to share with you, I mentioned those meal solutions and people always asking me, where do I start? Well, this season, I would certainly point at the Summer Strong Collection as a place to start. And then of course, you've got to have a steamer. I don't know how I cooked before I had our multi-purpose steamer. And in our kitchen, we actually have two because I'm using them constantly. So that's a big one on the wish list, absolutely adore it. And then the third item I suggest for anyone, whether you're new to Epicure or a longtime fan, is our three week meal collection. It's actually three weeks of our meal solutions. It comes with a menu planning guide as well. And this will provide so many fantastic meals for you and your family in all kinds of flavors. Like just imagine, we've got mac and cheese, taco, red Thai curry, sweet and sour stir fry, um, donair, Korean barbecue, Thai stir fry. So yummy flavors to choose from. And there's a favorite in that set that I just wanted to shine the spotlight on for two seconds. And that's our pulled pork. This has been a favorite from Epicure virtually since the day it was introduced. And it makes a gorgeous, bold, barbecue flavored pulled pork. 20 servings of our pulled pork has 200 milligrams of sodium shared amongst those 20 servings. Many of us are familiar with this little package from the supermarket. And before I knew about Epicure, this is the kind of spices I bought all the time. I'm a big foodie. I had a cupboard full of all sorts of little spice packs I had a fridge right full of dozens of different salad dressings and sauces. And then I started reading labels. 
And at the time, I didn't know I had a choice. But now that I know I have an alternative with fabulous flavor, less salt, that's the one I make. Because here's the difference. 20 servings with 200 milligrams of sodium, 20 servings of this little one, 7,800 milligrams of salt. I almost fell off my chair when I did the calculations. I triple checked it, I quadruple checked it. It is mind blowing. So now that I have an alternative, I leave that one where it is and I pick the Epicure version. So that's just a really fantastic illustration of how it's so easy to eat healthy by choosing Epicure. So let's plate up a delicious meal for us here tonight. So we're gonna have a little sip of that cocktail. Mmm, yummy. Magically, a plate will appear. And tongs, let's put some chicken on there. So this is the marinated chicken breast. The breasts are cut in two, because that's a perfect portion serving. And it's topped again with the fresh mozzarella. It's just hiding underneath the tomato. We'll add a little sprinkle of chives on there. The recipe says you can add some fresh basil slivered up. So if you have basil, that would be a great addition. We are going to add some of that beautiful potato salad. So if we hadn't been chatting here tonight and me giving you the inside scoop on Epicure products and the process of what I was doing, we would have had this meal ready in no time. So that's what I love about Epicure. If you come home and you're starving, you can have an awesome dinner on the table, no time at all. Let's add some gorgeous asparagus stalks to that. So look at this beautiful dinner. And I held back a little bit of the balsamic glaze because we are just gonna drizzle a little bit of that over the asparagus. Asparagus loves balsamic glazes. So just a little tiny drizzle there. You can even add a little bit to your chicken if you like. So there we go. Let's just move that out of the way. There's our asparagus, our salad, our chicken. There's our beautiful finished plate. I mean, it looks like a delicious dinner to me and it smells amazing. So what I'd really love for you to take away from this is that we're just here to share some little tips and hints on how to help you make dinner quickly and easily. Because stop and think for a minute. How many people do you know that eat? And probably eat every single day, right? So we could all use a hand coming up with a fresh new idea. So when you host a cooking class like this, even though it's virtual, the only sad part is that I'm actually going to get to eat this delicious dinner instead of you. But all the best parts of a class, like the free shopping spree, the half price items, the discounted host special, you get to enjoy all those rewards when you host a class and invite your friends to relax on the couch, maybe with a beverage, and join me while I cook dinner. So hosting couldn't be easier. We take really great care of our hosts and really spoil them with terrific rewards. And if you watch what I've done here tonight, I invite you to go back, take another look. Um, a lot of people have been really adversely affected by this whole COVID situation. Household incomes have taken a beating. Some of us are looking for a little stopgap, a little extra money because they're finding they're running out of money or they're running out, of, yeah, running out of money before the end of the month. So this is a really fantastic way to have a little extra spending money, have a little extra in the bank, or you might find that it's a fantastic part-time income, or like myself, a full-time income. I've had a full-time income with Epicure for years. This is how I support my family. So I'd be thrilled to share information with you about that. And you might be thinking, well, it's not for me, but I know somebody who might love that. I would love for you to connect us. I have a really robust referral program, so I love to treat people who send someone my way who might like to chat about the business. So if you'd love to be a talent scout, I'd be thrilled to take great care of you there as well. Because you never know who you know for whom this might be the perfect fit. So I want to thank you all so much for joining me here tonight. I've had a blast. I hope you enjoyed your time too. And I'm thrilled to answer any questions that you might have. So be sure to drop us a note in the comments. Let me know where you're watching from. 
and I would love to share details on anything that we featured here tonight or any other Epica products you're curious about. Thanks so much. Thank you for joining me.